If you're using booking.com, just be absolutely sure that the address is correct because booking the, uh, on the map, the address is incorrect and we just hauled all of our gear in very hot sun and we're dripping sweat for nothing because this is the incorrect address. So booking may use Google Maps or Apple Maps. Sometimes Apple Maps is not the same as Google Maps. So when you're booking something, be absolutely sure because Apple Maps and Google Maps is different. Good morning. We made it back to Capos. And we're gonna get some food here at a local restaurant. Gonna try something new. Originally, we were planning on not renting a car, but we've recently come across a little bit of money. In the, in the US, there is something called a tax return. In the spring of every year, theoretically, what's supposed to happen is you get money back from the government because you've paid your taxes all year. We have some unexpected funds come our way. Rather than spend our tax return on getting caught up on the credit card or fixing a car or something like that, we're gonna spend it on renting a car in fucking Costa Rica. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. So it's four hour drive to the Osa Peninsula from here. After we eat, we're gonna pick up the car, drive down to Osa, stay in Puerto Jimenez. So after a delicious breakfast, and again, you can catch that on our Instagram, at the Voidfill. Um, here in Capos, we, uh, we're gonna go to our rental car service and pick up the car. And it is right here down the street. It is called Adobe Rent-A-Car. And we found it through a website called My Tan Feet, which is a blog website with a bunch of great advice on Costa Rican travel advice. I mean, I highly recommend everyone check it out. If you're coming to Costa Rica, I will definitely leave links in the description below. Uh, yeah, very, very useful. So thank you to people who are running mytanfeet.com to uh, thank you for giving us all this advice on Costa Rica in general and helping us get a car. Here we are in our nice rental car. We picked it up out of Capos at the Adobe Rent-A-Car. And again, we did all of this through mytanfeet.com. We went back inside to finalize after inspecting the car. Because we did it through My Tan Feet, um, the rental car service, Adobe, they gave us a, a SIM card for a cell phone for emergencies. We could pop into our phone and there's enough minutes on there to make an emergency call if we need to do that. And that's because we went through MyTanFeet.com. So again, My Tan Feet, thank you. Yeah, this was unexpected. Uh, definitely unexpected. We were not expecting to rent a car. We wanted to get a little bit of both. We want to, we wanted to experience what it's like driving in a foreign country. And again, uh, this is only possible because we got lucky with the tax return. Um, right now we're down driving south on Highway 34 uh, towards Dominical, which will pass through Dominical and that'll take us towards the Puerto Jimenez area. It's about a three hour drive from Capos to Puerto Jimenez. God damn, we are in the rainforest. 
Holy shit, we are getting a good dose of some Costa Rican rain <laughs> here in the rainforest on our way to the Osa Peninsula. I think we got like another 40 minutes, but it's a, it's a mountainy road, but pouring rain right now. Hard raining, not pouring. And uh, <laughs> just to clarify, and this is, this is fun though, I mean, and it's not even the, it's not even technically the rain season yet. It still rains a lot during the dry season. So you just see people on their dirt bikes or on their bicycles in the pouring rain, just soaked because they're just used to it. That's what they do. All right, we're going for a walk here. Um, our hostel is fucking amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna get some footage for y'all, but right now we're gonna go take a walk. But yeah, we out here taking a walk into Puerto Jimenez, the town. Our hostel is uh, on the eastern side of it, a little bit outside of the main area. Uh, our hostel is amazing. I'm going to get some footage for you so you can see it in full. Nicole found it, so hell yeah. It's raining, so I'm going to have to angle the camera down a bit. So if it looks a little awkward, that's, that's why I don't want the lens to keep getting wet. Neither have I. That's pretty cool. Some pretty cool fruit. I bet it's those. So we found a place to eat. We ordered a couple uh, empanadas and some tacos. Check it out. This is our view right now. The power went out here at our hostel and uh, all of the local neighborhood dogs are fucking going nuts. <laughs> and the first thing I think about is the movie Signs. Like, is this it? Is this the invasion? Why are the dogs barking? Why is the power out? Just a minute ago, there was like 10 dogs fucking barking and howling. We're in the fucking jungle out here. It was pretty much pitch black. The dogs were barking and I thought I heard some movement out in the plants. So I'm staying inside. Not gonna lie, this is, I mean, this is pretty fun. This is pretty authentic. I don't know. In the rainy season, I think the power goes out a lot because electrical, electrical infrastructure and water don't, obviously they don't mix well. <laughs> 